Cena, and you're watching Soul Culture TV. Uh, I, I've been writing a new collection of songs about my life and just, you know, doing a lot of soul searching. And I think all of that at one time, you know, between recording those songs and traveling around the world with Common and his band, um, I think it, it's all at once and there's no way that you can't learn something from that. So I think, I'm not exactly sure exactly when, it wasn't like an aha moment, like, this is it. Maybe there was, maybe there was. We did um, a few shows out here and just to see, I think it was my first time recording, I mean not recording, performing for an uh, audience bigger than 2,000 people. I mean, there were like nine to 10,000 people at a festival. And I think that first show we did, just looking out to 10,000 people. I mean, if you, I don't know if you understand how much people that is. That's like freaking at all of this. <laughs> like from there all the way down there, full of people like know all the words, jumping up and down, screaming, hitting each other, and throwing water and just, yeah, that's amazing. And if I can make music that make people do that, that's what I want to do. What ideas or, or ways to make your independent journey smoother have you picked up from people? Well, I, I think, at least from Common, like his biggest advice to me has been to just to be true to who I am, you know, and, and finding that out over the months you know, it has been amazing. Like, I, I definitely feel more comfortable in my solo journey having been with him on his, you know? It's, it's, it's amazing when you can step outside of yourself and be in someone else's band and to hype them up. And then when you go back to your room and you go back to your gigs, your own gigs, it's like, I'm stronger in this now because I know what it's like to support someone else and, and I definitely my music is totally different now my music is is totally me and like you know emotional and like quirky and shy and nerdy and but all of those things I had to find out from all the traveling and just going through the motions pretty much Virtuoso on guitar over here. Jeez. I like to say how great it is all the time. I guess that means I should speak freely. Why don't I just get things going and why don't things just happen right away? I guess I just have to wait, wait, yeah, yeah. So why I don't, I, so why I don't, I, so why I guess that means I should speak freely all the time. And why don't I just get things going? And why don't things just stay? Why don't I just get things going? And why don't things just happen right away? I guess I just have to wait. Before 
more. It, it, I mean, a lot of it was sample based, and I think when you sample, um, you're all it's like setting a template for yourself to a certain point, and when you play things from like now I played everything from scratch and when I play things on a piano it's a totally different vibe than it is you know if I'm having a spinner sample or you know whoever sample so um it's just a different kind of music and and, and then it's more myself because I've been at home you know like I've been in the neighborhood that like I grew up in and I, I have it's a different atmosphere and I mean I'm a suburban you know, I'm a suburban girl, so a lot of my music is really like, you know, kitschy. And like, <laughs> you know, really weird, but I, I, I don't know. It's it's cool to find out like how how much we change in such little time, you know, and how much we find out about ourselves. So it's not a big way that I can explain it. I just think that when you guys hear it, you'll know you'll know it's me and you'll know that I mean because Daybreak definitely was an experiment and it was something that I just kind of threw together on a whim but I think this music is very deliberate and it's very contrived to fit me and to tell my story <laughs>